if you grew up in a certain way and someone taught you about a certain person, that that person was noble and he was righteous and he was pure, it's obvious and it's simple that you're going to love that person. If every day you heard about him that he was wonderful, that he was great, that he was awesome, that you live by his merit, that he's the reason why you are alive, you're going to love that person. You're going to admire him. You're going to almost want to worship him. It's like, it's simple that if you saw your parents crying to him and hoping for him and counting on him, it's simple and obvious that that thing will be carved in your heart to follow the same faith as well. Why not? Why not? Now, if someone now will come to you and tell you, listen, all your faith is based on false claims, it's very painful. It's, 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 it's a great shame for you. It's, it's something very, very painful. Now, who am I to come and to change your faith? It's not my will, it's not my passion, it's not my desire. I just want you to understand that in reality, the fact that you heard all those wonderful stories doesn't make them real. Now, everyone will admire the true Messiah. Everyone will love a person that is so humble, humble to death. Everyone will love a person that went to atone for our sins. Everyone. The only question is if it was really him or that there is another one that we're still waiting for him. You understand? The truth I'll tell you, I'm not enjoying giving this class. I really rather um, to talk about different topics. I don't have no, no, no intention of exposing a lie or, or revealing a false uh, method or... I just want you to, please, and I'm begging you to do that, check for yourselves. Don't base your thoughts and your belief on words of, of, of different people. Different people can come and claim and, and give excuses and, and tell you things, and they will find uh, ways to justify every verse and every claim and to tell you, no, he's wrong, and no, oh, he's lying, and oh, this and oh, that. And to tell you, no, this verse is talking about it, and it is talking about that. And all those things can catch a place of, of, of logic and sound so, so good for you in your ears because you're used to that, because you're used to hear that method. But I suggest for you to try to judge things on your own and to think on your own by yourselves and to try to go into the roots and to try to learn the, the sources of the Hebrew scripts and maybe even to learn Hebrew for that and not for assumptions on English translations um, that were for sure um, changed and edited for the needs of different generations and to stand by methods and ways of, uh, of certain people in the past. All the nations with the nation of Israel together are the children of Adam and Eve. We are all here to work together as a team and to reveal the truth to all the ones who are thirsty for it. And the real true Messiah will reveal himself to the world in that day of grace, in that day of judgment. And we will see him. And then all the answers will be given to us. So until that day, I suggest everyone to try to open their mind and to go back to the most loyal and accurate version of the Bible and to try to be patient and open-minded, not to follow different people's um, opinions, even if the earlier generations of your culture based their faith and assumption on those. I bless you to find the truth. Yehudi, Hashem Koreh Lecha